Hey, yeah, guys. Good morning. So, today we are going to paint some nice Voltans with the Dark Iron Dwarf color scheme from World of Warcraft. Let me know if the volume of the um, audio music is fine. Yo, Joe, how are you, bro? Que tal? <laughs> I really love your dwarf. It's beautiful, that armor. I really hope to do a nice job, as you did. <laughs> okay, so I'd like to start with... Maybe this model. Yes, the one with the sword should be, should be good. So, 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 let, yes, let's paint the one with the sword. So where is it? Where is it? Where is it? So, this is the call. Uh, no. Here it is. Oh yes. Hmm. <laughs> Let's find a nice head with some nice beard. Okay. I'm so excited, guys! My first button. I mean, for my own army, of course, not a commission. Er. <coughs> So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Some hats. <laughs> Thanks, glad you like it. I have to paint a few of them. Really nice. It's a pleasure to see your works nowadays because I think that you level up your, your painting skills a lot indeed so let's find a head I like the number mm -mm -mm -mm. 147 so B 147 I don't know how they name the um, this button first time assembling them. So these are for the bikes. Kinda don't need it. These are for the bikes too. Okay, we should have some heads here. Okay. 147, 47, 47, 47 is where is it? Nice. The head I would like to use is not here. 48, 46, but well not 47. Oh, come on. 5, 4. Grrr. Where is the head I want? Where is it? Okay, I have the weapon here, the sword. Yes, it's this one. This is the sword. Where are my pliers? Okay. And okay, we got the sword at least. A very nice lava sword. Oh yes. Okay. <coughs> okay, the sword is here. Then we need that head. One hundred forty-seven. Come on, it's impossible. 
<sighs> I feel very dumb. <laughs> Maybe because I am. 39, 38. No more heads here. Unless with the helmet. Or maybe here. 78, 79. 74. Oh, the most beautiful head is not here. Why? Dun 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 dun. 77, 6. No. Okay, it's not here for sure. You will be going to any events this year? Yeah, maybe Monte. I really like to, to go to Monte this year. Will you come? And also, I'd really like to start uh, a project for the um, Adepticon or that uh, Warcraft event. It's impossible to find that head. 49, 33, 33. I'm so sad. It's not fair. They put a beautiful head and it's not here. This is the call, so I don't need it. Uh, I like to go. Nice. I hope to see you at Monte. Yes. Also because uh, I like to to see all my friends, especially you from Spain, guys. Do you know if Anto is coming, Peña? So, last try here. <clears throat> Meanwhile, we are waiting for someone else to join. Mm -hmm. No, no head here. It'll be hard to get him to go anywhere. Really? Oh. <laughs> I'll tell him that there will be Musha waiting for him. He must come. Here it is! I found the head! Yeah! Alright. Now. Now what do we have here? I want the sword and the blaster. Which is... Which is number... 120 120 here it is but it's a revolver it's not a blaster <coughs> I want to do the OSL the lava OSL where is it uh, I need that blaster Oof. Let's look for blaster. One hand blaster. Yo, Richard, good morning. He doesn't really like these events. Oh, too many haters. That's true. I agree with him. That's absolutely true. That's the reason why I stopped going to these events. A lot of haters. But haters gonna hate. So do, 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 do. <laughs> Maybe I can come to one of those in Spain. Why not? Okay, got a blaster. Yeah, this one should be fine. It's his number one hundred and fourteen. Yes. Okay, I can use it. 
<clears throat> Good morning, Richard. What do you say? Are you happy I'm, I'm assembling buttons and painting them? I'm so excited. Really. So, B3, B1, and B2. B1, 2, 3, for the body. So it means that I can take any... I can choose any 1, 2, and 3 numbers, I suppose. Because then we get the other body, 85, 82, see, okay. Right, so 1 is here. Number 1, then we need number 2 and 3. Number 2, here it is. And number three, which is a leg, if I'm not wrong. Yes, it's a single head leg. <coughs> and finally, on the good stuff. Exactly. Finally. Oh, number three, here it is. Oh, by the way, guys, uh, yes, it has just arrived a uh, commission from the USA with. Uh, five or eight models from hero quest you know that game i think that it's it's interesting <coughs> i still have to unpack the the package okay jack is working and we know he cannot join live today so we got the head we got the arms we got the body legs what am i missing what am i missing oh the mm, the jetpack mm, but i don't like the that sort of horn or whatever it's called coming from his oh but he has it okay let's do it a lot of lava okay so I need a uh, number nine for the jetpack. Nine, 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 nine. This is a six. Where is nine? Where is nine? Here it is, nine. Okay. Where is <coughs> jetpack? Nine. Hero West is so much fun. The original game from the 90s. Um, I don't know. Well, I'll open the package and see. Those were some of the first minutes of it. Oh, really? <laughs> the crest is very important. Oh, the crest, okay. Because it means that they are the leaders or something like that. You know, I'm not good at lore stuff. Let's open the package and see the hero quest commission. I think they are like five or eight champions, I don't remember, because they're a sort of test. Madonna, yes, Madonna. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see what do we have here. Let's see what, which are the models. A lot of toilet papers, as I do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten models. Okay, let's open. Let's unwrap the first one and see what model is it. Okay, a sort of skeleton. Viking skeleton. Let's open another one. <coughs> there should be even a barbarian if I'm not wrong. <coughs> Ouch. I'm killing everything. Okay, we have a lot of undead people. So see, it helps to have them stand out and also means you get paint more cool lava effect. Yeah, exactly. 
all the inscriptions in lava mode. Okay, I can see they have a lot of details, guys. All undead people. Viking undead people. Haha, <laughs> some are cute. Last free, and then I'll be back with the button, of course. Don't worry. Oh, I thought he shipped me the the barbarian. I already knew how to to paint the the skin too. Okay, these are the guys. For hero quest, I think they come from an expansion or something like that. All right, here we are. Let's go, go, go. The crest. The crest is number. Hmm. I can choose between three. Hundred five, six, or seven. But I have to take the hundred four. To attach it to the jetpack. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. We're going to paint it soon. Okay. Let me see. Okay, the boar, the wolf, or the panther. Hmm. Which one? The boar, of course. Okay, last piece, and we are ready to go. Nice. Okay, let's clean everything. No mold lines, so our Yandrak is happy. I'm so excited to see this. Yeah, me too. I'm still thinking whether to start from a black primer and use the standard um, game workshop style, so easy peasy, or starting with white primer and try something in craft world studio style which might be interesting too though i'm always struggling with these two painting methods because <laughs> i like both results but i don't know because the game workshop style it's easy to me at least and I just get bored painting that way, so I like to choose the m the more tricky, the most tricky way, which is the artistic one. 
but it's also true that I'm not that skilled, so I really have to focus to paint that way. So this is my main struggle. <laughs> A lot of nasty mole lines here. No, no Jibu style, Musha style. Musha style, so Musha style is something in between GW and Craftword. Do you know Ninjon? Or Ninjon? I don't know how to pronounce it. He painted some turquoise. Yo, good morning! I finally caught you live. How cool. <laughs> Yo, prophecy. <laughs> Glad to have you here. Okay, so have you seen the um, his one of the latest YouTube video where he painted the turquoise voton with Craftword Studio style? Yeah, he's very entertaining. He's he's a pro. He's a pro YouTuber, indeed. I like to be like him one day <laughs> but I need a studio again I mean at least I, I, I mean I have a studio I have to fix it because <laughs> uh, if you've seen that video uh, what I want to say is that that exact style is what I'm looking for, which is, um, I think it's a mix between Game Workshop style and Craftwork Studio style. So you have a nice blending, but you also have the brush strokes, you know. I haven't seen that, I can't watch Green Button because it made me feel bad how trash mine are. No, come on. His button is great. I mean, he uses uh, turquoise, violet, purple, and lime green. I mean, those analogous colors, which are my favorite though. It, it's like yours, but a bit more bluish rather than greenish. I'm painting a boss craft world studio style and it's way harder than it looks. Haha, <laughs> which one? I really love those guys. They're my main source of inspiration. I really, I really love how they they uses uh, they use uh, colors and mix them all together and create that that harmony. A dragon knight, nice. <clears throat> I really love um, tabletop miniatures painted in their style because they, their style emphasizes a lot all the details of such small miniatures, while for bigger minis or figures, bosses and stuff like that, I'd rather use my own style, of course, cause also because those are showcase for events, etc. I use jade and green and leather jade, yeah! <laughs> yeah, that's why it's more greenish. But I like the color scheme too, because jade is a very nice hue, in my opinion. And it works amazingly with orange. <laughs> so, okay, we chose the, let's say, Craft Wars Studio style, so... 
Let's do it. This means that I'm going to start with um, white primer and that I'm going to use not the Citadel colors but the scale artist. So let's get back used to them. This time I use the artist was like almost one year ago. <laughs> <laughs> I printed a lot of commissions. Agree. Game workshop style is great for getting the army on the table quickly and look good. Crafter is great for really showing the details in that minis have. Yeah, and that. Which style is best style? Thank you, Rich. Banshee has a great style that shows brack strokes. I'm trying to get away from the smooth style. Yeah, me too. I'm sick of the perfect smooth blending. Really sick of it. Because um, the style, honestly, the style I like to achieve uh, with my painting is the, um, is the one that um, artists have for World of Warcraft illustrations and artworks. Where you see the blending, but you also see the, um, the strokes. In digital uh, painting. No metallic musha. No metallic metal musha style button. Yes, of course. <laughs> okay, I should have all the pieces here. Let's assemble them. And let's work on the palette. Because since we are using uh, their style, I have to do the gray shading underneath and work with the overlapping layers. So let's attach the leg first. Like this. <gasps> I have a mold line in there. Remember it to me, Rich. Otherwise, our friend Yandrak is gonna kill me. <laughs> let's see if I can do it even if we have fresh glue. Yes, I can. It's terrible this mold line, guys. <laughs> okay. Let me move the chat a bit because I cannot read the fuck with the lamp in front of me. So the perfect smooth uh, doesn't look natural either, which is something that I find difficult to look at. Yes. Yes, but. But I, I think it's different if you do the um, the blend the um, if you create the smoothness of the blending with the bra with the brush instead of the eye brush because uh, the blending made with the eye brush create a sort of porcelain effect which I really don't like especially for skin tone I really hate it because it looks so damn fake in my opinion. At that point, I rather use oil, oils. Wooden warriors are awful. Uh, yeah, have awful more lines. Uh, I give up when I realize I was too free of that. <laughs> so I'm used to use the um, Winsor and Newton series uh, seven, but this time I'm using the green stuff word, si silver series, and I also have the gold series. Whoa, gosh, sorry. I have the gold one too. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I have the gold one too. I also have one Rublev, which went far beyond my expectations, honestly. I have a new green stuff double zero. And this is my first Winsor Newton number one. Let me focus the, the camera. Number one uh, brush, finest, so it means uh, long tip. And it this this brush painted like 400 miniatures. And also I have a really nice brush from you won't believe it, heavy metal. 
from Game Workshop. That's the only nice brush they ever made. So for today I'm going to use these two mainly, even though they're almost at uh, the end of their life. They don't have the tip anymore, at least the number one, the zero still have it, has it. And well, probably I'm going to use the, the gold for some details on the rule block, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. That's because if I like to leave some brush strokes, they don't need to have a sharp tip. Okay. Now, let's glue the head, maybe? The backpack. These heavy metal brushes are so nice, I still have the full set in wooden box. They're, uh, they're just your Bender Series 7, but so good. Yes, they are. That brush has a lot of ears and it's still there in my set. <laughs> wow guys, I'm so excited, I'm assembling my first button. So, time for the arms. By the way, this is the s slowest assembling I've ever made. 40 minutes, guys. I'm terrible. Hey guys, can you hear me? OBS Studio disconnected, I don't know why. I hope that I'm back. <laughs> I've been waiting to try green stuff for just the price of the brush are getting so expensive. I think that you should get them now. They last a lot and they, their tips are, are strong. I really suggest those brushes. They replace my Winsor & Newton and I can say that I have been addicted to Winsor & Newton for more than four years. And those were the only brushes that uh, made me replace the, the Windsor & Newton. Bottom deserves the slow assembly. You need to make love to the assembly, yeah. Okay, I found a way to assemble this thing. And I forgot it. Okay. Wow, okay. And it should be attached where? Okay, right behind the neck. So something like this, I suppose. <sighs> wow. Ciao, Exca, buongiorno. Did the sound keep cutting out or it's my PC? No. I think it's my PC. I hope that it gets better. Io non ti sento proprio. <laughs> Can you hear me guys? Prova, 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 test, test, test. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Nemmeno la musica, sentite? Neither the music, guys? You can't hear neither the music? Brava, brava, brava. Hey. Am I dead? Mm. 
Non mi sentite, raga? Prova, 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 prova. Zero? Some was good, but then it's stuff and then nothing so weird. Just give me a moment. Brava, brava, brava. Brava, brava, brava. Test, 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 brava. Brava, brava, brava. Tira le legate gramorose, ogni tanto si sente qualcosa. Let me do a speed test. Aspettate. Mi sconnetto il computer, quell'altro. Proviamo a fare... Let's try to do the speed test. Però non so se hai continuato a parlare dopo o meno. No, in teoria no. Oh. Let me do a speed test, guys. Brava, brava, brava. I keep crashing. Test, test, test. Brava, 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 ragazzi. Nel frattempo comunque primero la miniatura. Sorry guys. Prova. No, no, aspetta, riavvio. <laughs> 